Good afternoon, everybody. I am. I am on my way to Chicago, where I will be teaching a class on. Well, the class I think is is like young entrepreneurs. So my class is basically the story brand framework and filling out a worksheet like your ideal client avatar worksheets. Again, I'm afraid it's one of those things where I try to pack too much into one thing, but I've shortened what I'm gonna say on the keynote, story brand keynote. I'm going to introduce the, the framework and then um, do kind of a thought exercise on trying to, uh, what does it look like to market to your ideal client and get that avatar down? Like, what does that client look like? What's their day look like? What are they struggling with? Who do they want to become? And how does your product or service interact with that? So there's a lot of overlaps with the story brand framework, uh, but uh, I'm going to use another resource that I was able to gather in another training unrelated to story brand. So uh, let's do this. 51 minutes. So maybe I'll actually take my second favorite little line go up through Ogden so let's do that Something interesting happened on my way here. Uh, I don't have a nose piece. It fell off as I was cleaning it, and uh, there it is. So, so I look like this. There's nothing really I can do about it. So uh, I'll uh, I'll be that guy tonight, and uh, hopefully maybe I can find some contacts in my book bag. But now I just gotta wait for the professor to come find me so he can take me to where I'm supposed to go. So here we go. Here we are. Here's the thing, I teach like in uh, 10 minutes, so I have no idea where this building is. I need to teach, so uh, this should be good. All right, so that worked just in time. So he will be walking right towards me, I think, according, according to him. So here we go. So let me tell you what your new superpower is, hopefully to confidently market to your, your ideal client so they'll want to work with you. If you get this right, you will stand out from 95% of people who are going into healthcare, whatever, because most likely, most, most classes, like most master's degrees, because I'm assuming you'll probably, some of you will go into a master's degree program, they'll just continue to teach you theory and stuff. They will not teach you marketing. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everybody. So just to kind of wrap up yesterday's trip downtown to Chicago to the University of Illinois, Chicago. Had a great time with John there, who's the professor. Uh, he just loves those kids. Like it was just amazing to see a professor just nurture them because they looked exhausted and tired. And here's why. I was uh, he was telling me that UIC has like 30 some thousand students that attend that school and 60% of them are first generation kids like first generation going to college uh, students and so what that typically means is 
They're coming from families of backgrounds that don't have a whole lot of means, so they will go to class and then they'll go work 20 to 30 hours a week in the family business or whatever work they might be doing. So they're going to school full time and then kind of working this full time job on the side. And so you saw students who were so eager to learn but yet so exhausted. And I think I just left part of my heart there at the University of Illinois, Chicago, UIC. Um, because I saw the struggle and their eagerness to learn. And it was an, an incredibly diverse class. Uh, when I walked in, I was like, oh man, I hope I'm actually relevant <laughs> to these students because one, they're a whole lot younger, and two, um, they don't all share the same background that I have, just being a white male who grew up in the Midwest states in Cleveland and been living in Chicago and in the suburbs. Like it's a completely different experience. But here's the one thing is that I was relevant because I used story. Now, what do I mean by that? I, I, I talked about the story brand framework. I brought them through the seven part framework using the keynote and they were all clicking with me because I was using Disney examples and Marvel movie examples. And so they were all hanging with me as I was going through the hero's journey and implementing or and sharing the uh, story brand framework. And so what was really powerful for me at the end, the professor's like, all right, real quick, one word takeaway. Like, what did you get out of this? And he just went around to each student in the class and, he, and they were saying, be clear, uh, play the guide, uh, what else? Um, find out that aspirational identity. Um, so it was like all the things that I was touching on, they came away with. And I mean, it was, it was so affirming and just a wonderful experience. Uh, so yeah, that UIC seems like to be uh, just this really special place. I've never been on the campus before. It's a huge campus, um, really diverse, really cool part of town, Chicago. Had a great time with John. We went and got Japanese food and stuff afterwards and uh, just had a, a, just a great conversation, kind of two entrepreneurs talking about healthcare and where it's at and uh, work. Anyways, I digress. That was really cool. So yeah, great day at UIC. You can tell I'm wearing different glasses now because I, um, you know, the other ones broke, wore contacts, and I found these old pair of Warby Parkers. So they don't fit my face very well, but they will have to do. So yeah, that was a great day. Wanted to catch up on that. And now I got to uh, get ready for some more filming. All right, we'll see you in the next one.